talk about the market's reaction to these trade headlines. It seems like on the initial on the initial headlines, we react sharply, we sell off, we're worried. Then we shake it off. Is it just about the uncertainty of when the headlines come? Then when we, then we digest it. Remember that corporate earnings growth is expected to be strong, and we have a strong economy, and we move on. I think you summarized it actually perfectly. Uh, there's just a lot of negativity priced into the markets as it relates to these trade headlines, and you know, let's let's not forget there's a big difference here between rhetoric and policy, and oftentimes what we've seen. Uh, is is some rhetoric that's pretty harsh, and then a little bit of backpedaling, uh, almost as if this is a bit of a negotiating, uh, you know, tactic. Ultimately, there's a bit of a tug of war here. On the one hand, we have the wall of worry. Uh, call it trade, call it interest rates, call it a flattening yield curve, whatever it might be. And on the other hand, you have some pretty strong economic data. The underlying fundamentals look good, and I think this earnings season, which we're just about to to really get into. Uh, is going to shine a spotlight on that and show you just how strong corporate America has been doing. But Joe, where is the where is the concern? Nasdaq is close to a record high. The Na, the, the Dow is up 225 points. We've had very nice. Now listen, I, I don't I don't mean to dispute the idea that there were several weeks there where the market was down, but lately the market seems to be looking way past any of the of the clouds on the trade horizon. Yeah, I think the Nasdaq is certainly doing uh, certainly doing well relative to other markets. But when you take a look at the S&P 500, for example, you know we started off this year uh, on a pretty strong note, and and we still have yet to recover uh, the losses, uh, you know, sort of the, the 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 drop, if you will, that we that we experienced in the second quarter. I think ultimately, as corporate profits and earnings expectations continue to inch higher, and markets are just not necessarily keeping up with that, you have valuations which have been compressing further and further. And that in and of itself is providing some support to the equity markets. And John, we do have these earnings kicking off tomorrow, but the mm -hmm. yield curve has been of some concern to some that look at it and say, I don't know. When we've seen this happen before, the recession was not far off, but then we could get a really strong earnings season. So what are your expectations for earnings and how you put that together in the puzzle with what we're seeing with what's going on with interest rates as well and inflation potentially? Yep. Sure, sure. We have uh, very good expectations. We would agree with Joe. We have very good expectations for earnings over the next quarter and, and really through the rest of the year. But that uh, flattening yield curve is a concern. Look at it over the last 30 years. There are a lot of investors that have learned one rule. When the yield curve goes negative, that's when I put my finger on the sell button. So the closer we get to zero, the closer we get to inversion, you're going to see volatility pick up. Now, from 50 basis points to zero, the market has actually had a history of doing very well. Throughout the late 1990s, the market did well with a fairly flat yield curve. So the yield curve getting closer to zero is, is just telling you the economy is strong. But if we invert, you're going to see volatility increase, and that would, that would concern us. That would send a very bad signal to investors. So, John, what's your playbook uh, for investors as we take all of this into account and the earnings season begins? What are you looking at adding to your portfolio? Well, what we've been doing is trying to differentiate between the reality of the, the good economic news and the rhetoric, as you were just discussing. The rhetoric on the trade side is, is very disconcerting. So what we've been doing in portfolios is basically talking with clients about making sure that they're not taking you know, a too aggressive bet. Uh, we have been underweighting the high risk areas of the market right now. We're underweight emerging markets. We think that you know, if, uh, if we do have uh, the worst case scenario on the trade side, it'll really hit the emerging markets hard. So we've been underweighting the higher risk sectors of the portfolio. And we've been on the bond side, we've actually been upgrading the quality of our bond portfolios moving from the corporates to the treasuries. As rates have increased, we think treasuries are relatively uh, more attractive than they were just a year ago. So we've been increasing the quality in our portfolios. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.